guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I am in this curated area of Palm Springs, California, because we have something that's been changed up, refreshed, and rethought of right here next to me. What the heck is it? This is your 2025 Lincoln Aviator. But before we get into this reserve trim of this mid-size three-row luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So Lincoln, they're that premium American luxury brand. And what's interesting is that you basically have two to choose from, Lincoln and of course, Cadillac. Now what's fascinating is once upon a time, many decades ago, Lincoln really had a stranglehold on the luxury car market because back then it was all about sedans and nobody did a luxury sedan better than Lincoln with the Continental series of vehicles. Now, over time, obviously, people's tastes have changed and it all revolves around SUVs. Well, Lincoln is no stranger to luxury SUVs. They're the first to bring the OG of the full-size luxury SUVs, the Lincoln Navigator, and that vehicle was really the vehicle to save the brand. Well, what Lincoln has done is they wanted to take the magic of the full-size Navigator and bring it into the rest of their lineup. Right underneath the Navigator is the Aviator, underneath the Aviator is the Nautilus, and underneath the Nautilus, the little baby of the bunch, is the Corsair. But what I want to find out is, if you're looking for the best new mid-size luxury SUV, is this 2025 Aviator Reserve Trim the way to go? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, the proportions. I really feel like the Aviator checks off a lot of boxes for people because it's big enough to have that three row usability, but it's not the ginormous larger size of the Lincoln Navigator. Now at the front of the business, what you're gonna find is a refresh in style. So I'm really digging what Lincoln is doing with their headlight design full LED projector beam headlights. You have your LED daytime running lamp and turn signal. And I love the way that it flows into the new grill area. Now, with this setup, as we drop down, you do have these areas here, which I am gonna have to zonk. This should be a functional air curtain. It's literally just blocked off and a fake vent. So I am gonna zonk that. Would have been nice to have some fog lamps or functional air curtain, but with that being said, I do like the shape of it. It gives it a nice classy but aggressive look all at the same time. A little bit more gloss black accents. And then as we come across that front grill area, you have that iconic Lincoln badge. What's cool is, is that at night this illuminates so people will know that you are driving that premium American brand coming down the road. On this reserve trim, you do have all the little gloss black accents, and the grill is actually like a dark, dark, dark gunmetal metallic gray. Behind the grill, you do have active shutters that open and close to allow more or less air in because we're trying to help with fuel efficiency, and you do have at the base of the Lincoln badge a forward-facing camera. Now, as we drop all the way down, same story on the bottom grill. The gloss black, it is fully functional, and you do have more active aero shutters, but let me know in the comment section if you like the direction that Lincoln is going in with their new grill design. One of the things I think that pops out the most to me is how they intersect the actual lighting into the grill. I think that that just gives it a little bit extra class and another way to identify Lincoln from the rest of the luxury vehicle brands. Now, as we rise up, you just have the same hood as before, but it seems to fit the front of the vehicle a lot better. I love the way the gaps are very, very small around the top of the grill area, has a nice flow to it. Underneath the hood, you're gonna have that three liter twin turbo V6. How much horsepower? 400 horsepower, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And remember, this Aviator comes standard, rear wheel drive power. This is a rear wheel drive powered crossover SUV or all wheel drive, zero to 60, in about 5.4 seconds. So not too shabby for a vehicle like this. And then of course you could tow and have all that other usability. Now, as we come around the bend, if we have a new front end, we also have some new wheels and tires. So feast your eyes on these multi-spoke gloss black wheels, 22 inches in diameter. I like the way they put this Lincoln 
center cover that covers all the lug nuts, gives it a nice, clean, sort of like a aeronautical style to it, especially because this is called the Aviator. 275 on the width on the tires, 40 series sidewall, and we do have adaptive air ride suspension. All four corners, you see that bright silver in there? That's the air ride suspension. And another thing that I love, fully painted around the fender openings. No flat black, and that's how a luxury SUV should be. You shouldn't see any flat black. But let me know what you think about the new wheels. I'm digging them. I love that rotation, mm, like that. Coming down the side, they do a great job with their side markers, aviator badge with the trim that flows in nicely. Doesn't go too crazy. You have power folding mirrors, LED turn signals. Of course, we're gonna have our 360 degree cameras. And one of the things I think really separates this style is I like the way they did the body color white and then the gloss black separate. Just, I don't know, it makes it seem like this is like some type of arm sticking out and then this is just resting on the arm. They gloss out, they paint the A pillar and then it's got that nice flat roof design with the roof rails that are close to the body. So you don't have to worry about a bunch of drag. And then along the bottom here, I think they do a spectacular job just sprinkling some gloss black, sort of like you take some chocolate sprinkles and you put it on your Sunday to make it better. That's what they did down here. And I like the side skirt extension. Gives it, I don't know, it just gives it some substance. I feel like when everything curves underneath, it just looks a little bland. It's nice to see some bold, defined lines. Now working our way towards the rear, you're gonna have gloss black around the window openings. And these are not door handles. Remember, you don't wanna just pull on this. It's a button that you press that opens up the door. Just something to be aware of so you don't just come and, hey, this won't open, unlock the door. Well, duh, you gotta push the button. It's already unlocked. Coming towards the rear, nice quarter window. And that's important because this is a three row midsize SUV and I, I am gonna get back there, believe it or not. And then coming to the rear, Things are looking good. Look at what I got, look what I can do. No rear exposed wiper. It's hidden underneath this nice long roof, low roof spoiler. And then it really cleans up the back. Wouldn't you agree? Let me get my grease, my face goo off the, off the bag glass. But you see how clean everything is with the Lincoln name spelled out? And I love the way they're doing the LED lighting. Look at this, everything full LED. And then working our way down to Chinatown, what do we got going on? Quad exhaust, my one zonk is it still comes out the bottom. Why can't they have the exhaust? I know supposedly fumes get into the back, but I mean, come on, can't we design a seal so that we could just have the exhaust come out the back? But I do love the quad tip exhaust, gives it a nice sporty, but purposeful look. And then this cover here obviously comes off to reveal all of your towing capability. But think about that. You could have all wheel drive, 22 inch wheels, air ride suspension, and you could tow. But why don't we go ahead? This is just a piece of the new puzzle for 2025. Let's get to the interior and see what Lincoln is bringing on this Aviator. All right, guys, we are inside this all new 2025 Lincoln Aviator. Now, this one is the reserve trim. So this is not even the top trim. Remember, the top trim is going to be the black label, which of course will be bringing you that as well. But if you're wondering, well, Joe, I really want something luxury. I want an American brand vehicle when it comes to luxury. I don't really want a Cadillac. All my relatives have Cadillacs. I want to go the Lincoln route. How much is this? So the way that this one is basically optioned is right around $68,890. But let's see what's new for 2025 when we look at luxury SUVs from Lincoln to the door panels. Absolutely love the style. That two-tone with the dark soft touch material and then that dark chocolate brown leather, all the stitching, real aluminum speaker grill covers. You'll notice how they have all the seat controls easy to get to, and of course, massage sit, uh, seats for the front passenger and driver. I like the way they have a button to open up the door, just a nice press button rather than a handle. The one zonk is the gloss black around the switch gear for your door locks and your power windows. That's gonna get some fingerprints, but you'll see our beautiful aluminum specced speaker grill covers. So we have that Revel premium sound system, 
28 speakers in this updated aviator and I love the way they did the design of the speaker grills. And then guess what? Door pocket is good enough size for a Palm Springs burrito that comes with extra avocado and you don't have to pay any more money for the avocado and a bottle of kombucha citrus flavored to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, there's that two-tone color. The nice soft touch black with this creamy dark chocolate brown little bit of this wood grain finish going on. There's some gloss black here, but you're not gonna be touching it. And I'm a firm believer, you know, I listen to my mom. She says, if you don't want fingerprints, don't touch the gloss black. And you really shouldn't be touching this. Now, as we slide in, this is something that's all new for model year 2025. That's a 13.2 inch infotainment system. I love the way it's the horizontal setup rather than portrait. It is that posted iPad style, but you know what? It's easy to get to, and I like the height of it. Full touchscreen capability, you got your Google Maps, we could go to our home screen and pull up tons of different driver profiles, different information to have. We'll go into vehicle, you have the accessibility of your seat controls, easy to figure out on the screen. Like I said, the massage settings, if you don't want to touch the screen, you do have the physical controls on the doors, valet mode, the ambient lighting. Look at this, 64 different colors of Crayola crayon, big box set up in here. And it's just so simple. You press the colors and then you can adjust how bright or how dark you want it. I don't think it gets any easier than that. And then of course the apps. More apps than the Apple App Store on your phone, including games. So we have games, Amazon Alexa, the whole shabam very easy to navigate, all new for 2025. You do have your AC controls, they are in the screen, but the good news is I do like the way I could just press to adjust things. You don't have to drag your finger, and then when it comes to heated and ventilated seats, you got three stages of ventilated, three stages of heated, and a heated steering wheel. But like I said, I think the good part is it's at the bottom, so I could rest my fingers here and just go boop, boop. I don't want hot, it's very hot right now. But you get the point with my finger, right? You just hit it and quit it and you're good to go. Now working your way down, a little bit more gloss black, but you have these manual easy control AC vents. We have our nice piano key style to our 10 speed automatic and that's where your start stop button is housed. The Lincoln badge, the wood finish, a real volume knob, which is great. Some physical buttons, which of course, look at our cameras. That's out the front. 360. I could actually see the different blades of grass. There's an ant right there that's living on that little piece of grass right there. So nice resolution, the 360 cam, but guess what? We have a little nook. So you have this nook for a purse, a Merce, or your favorite fanny pack. Just slide it right in there. Speaking of sliding, watch this. Abracadabra, one, two, three, I need some storage. Boop wireless charging, just drop your phone in there. Nicely done, if you're not using it, we don't need to see it. And then slide this bad boy open, two cup holders and a place for some Tic Tacs, two boxes of Tic Tacs. You got your different drive mode selector knob, which I'll show you that when you come to the business end. More of that soft Hershey's chocolate, dark brown finish. Open it up, look at all the keys you get. No, you don't really get this many keys, but this is your key fob for the aviator, same thing on your Nautilus and everything. There's all your buttons. We just have a bunch of keys because we're special. I like the way they have this little felt line holder here for your Rolex, maybe your tag, maybe you have your high school class ring you wanna keep in here. It won't get all scratched. You got two USB-Cs, a 12 volt, and enough room, I would say for a million dollars. No, not a million dollars in cash. I'm talking about 100 grand bars, so you could get 10 100 gram bars in there, and you'll feel like the richest person in the world. Seats, the leather. I like the way Lincoln does their seats, the way they're super thin on the cushions, but yet they're super comfortable. 30-way adjustable. Did you just hear what I freaking said? 30-way adjustable. You're gonna not wanna get out of this vehicle because it's gonna feel so good to sit in. And then, of course, we have that ginormous panoramic roof. But why don't you come over the business end? I want to show you what's new for 2025 in this 
Lincoln Aviator. All right, guys, we're behind the wheel of this 2025 Lincoln Aviator. I like the way the doors open nice and wide to really give you some clean access in and out. These seats have three memory seat settings, which is nice. And then you'll notice you're gonna be greeted by this aluminum sill plate with the Lincoln name that lights up LED lighting. No controls on the side. And the reason why they do that is to give me extra cushion for the pushing while you're driving down the road. And just nice the way everything, I feel like the seat has about 40 different cushions to it, the way that it conforms to your body. But that kind of makes sense because it is 30 way adjustable steering wheel. Love the way they just did the black leather on the exterior outside portion. Then that dark chocolate brown, you got the Lincoln badge. I like the way you just use these joysticks, like playing an old Atari game, maybe track and field. I used to love that freaking game. And then of course you have paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down the 10 speed automatic. It is a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have that ginormous 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. What I like is, like I told you, when you go through the modes, look at how everything changes, deep conditions. I like the little descriptions, the adjectives, normal. Who the hell wants to be normal? We got conserve, you wanna save the planet. We got excite, that is sport mode when you wanna let it rip and roar. But nice to have that adjustability and the nice clean graphics. And if you're wondering what's that gloss black rectangle there, that is to make sure you keep your eyes on the road. And remember, this also has Blue Cruise, which is that hands-off autonomous driving feature that Lincoln and Ford brings to the table. But I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of freaking room in here. But it's not just about the people up front. Let's check out the mid-row and the third row in this aviator. All right, guys, mid-row time, because remember, this is a three-row mid-size luxury SUV. It falls right underneath the larger Lincoln Navigator. But this mid-row really spoils your passengers. First of all, you got more of that dark chocolate brown leather interior. I love what Lincoln does with the armrests and the captain's chairs. This is a proper arms rest for a human arm. Slide it back up. Backs of the seats, some soft touch material. You got these leather pockets where you could put some Zagnut bars, maybe a whatchamacallit or two, or some York peppermint patties. It kind of gets hot out here in Palm Springs, so that could kind of cool you off. We have a little bit of a command center that I like here. All touchscreen, climate control, audio controls, different settings. You just hit the screen and you're rocking and rolling back here. You got your AC vents. Down below, you have two USB-Cs and a home power source, which is really nice. Plenty of room. Like I said, I'm six feet tall, plenty of room. I like the way I have the aluminum speaker grill covers. 28 speakers, they're everywhere. I think there's a speaker right underneath my butt. There's 30-way adjustable seats up front, but 28-way adjustable speakers. So if you do the math, that's 58 different adjustable things that you could do. 58 different settings adjustability, whatever you want to call it. But I have the speaker grill covers. Of course, we have the nice, when the paparazzi is out in Palm Springs and they know Joe Rady's in the house, I could keep the paparazzi out very nicely, bring that back down. And then you'll see we have a nice little command center here. You have a place for two Lincoln luxury Twinkies. We also have the controls for the power shade. I like the way they do the shade right here because sometimes if you're the passenger, you gotta go to the driver, can you close the shade? And maybe they're ignoring you. Maybe they're pissed off at you and they're like, no, I want you to fry. I want you to fry in the sun glare. Now you have your own control and we have storage as well. So you could put easily, I would say, four of those Palm Springs burritos out here with the extra avocado, nicely done. Two cup holders, and I like the height of it. But if you're wondering, do these seats move? Yes. They do slide, it's all manual adjustment, and they do recline. So that's a nice little bit. I wish they reclined a little bit more, but guess what? We have three rows in this SUV, so let's check out and see if the third row passengers are gonna be peasants or princes in that back seat. Let's check it out. All right, guys, third row time. It's a little bit of a mixed bag. So the good news is I got plenty of headroom. The bad news is look how high my knees are. So my knees are a little too high. I would like the floor to be a little bit lower. And then they don't give me, it's just hard plastic back here. Give me some of the chocolate brown, man. 
give me some of the brown on the armrest. But I do have a nice place to put, I would say, about 25 Hershey's Kisses in there and a cup of YooHoo just to really get a nice chocolatey blast while I'm being squished back here. We do have AC vents, which are great. And the seats, mm, I hate it when they do this. It, they don't look as nice as the other seats. I mean, the stitching is there, that's fine, but it's sort of like they just wrap some wood and just put it back here. And these headrests are, I don't know, man, they remind me of like a old race car or something like that from the 50s. But you do have USB-Cs on the one side, which is good, and you do have the storage but my knees are just a little high and I did have to move this seat forward to get this amount of room, which is not much. But let's get in the cargo area because we gotta wrap it up here before they kick us out. All right guys, cargo area time. Now you just hit the button, nice electric assist, brings it right up to you. You're gonna be greeted to a generous amount of room, even with the dump-a-dump-dump -dump subwoofer back here. They're able to carve out some room just like you carve out a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. And then on the passenger side where you have your power seat controls to fold down that third row, and then you also have a 12 volt. My one zonk is I would like to see a home power source back here, but guess what? If you're going shopping, you're going down to Rodeo Drive, maybe you're going to Beverly Hills, maybe you're going down to South Beach, Miami, check this out. Prada, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Whatever you got, Calvin Klein, you can load this up with your purses, your mercies, your shirts, your sacks, your socks, your boxers, whatever you got, this is where you're gonna be able to store that nicely and keep it safe for that journey back to your home. But of course, I wanna take this 400 horsepower aviator for a drive. And I know you wanna go for a drive with me. We're not there yet. This is the first look, but stay tuned. We will be doing the first drive of the Lincoln Aviator. Until then, let's wrap it up like a Christmas Day present from Palm Springs. All right, guys, this has been an exciting vehicle to bring. The reason why was it wasn't supposed to be here, but of course, we got to thank our friends over at Lincoln for allowing us access because it showed up and I wanted to bring it to you. But let me know what you think. Is this the best new three row mid-sized luxury SUV, or you're gonna go with a competitor. And I think one of the competitors to this would be that new Lexus TX series of mid-sized three row SUV. But let me know what you think about it down in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile to come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. Of course, we gotta thank the mastermind behind the lens. Who is that? That is Lori Rady working it like the champion that she is. She actually wears a championship belt that she won in this videography competition. Every time we're filming in Palm Springs, she specifically brings it out and wears that belt nice and proud. So definitely show her some love and support in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for being the champion that you are and the champion that you deserve to be. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.